Have you ever been? Have you ever been? Well, I'm needless to say, you're okay with wonderful Radio London. Well, what more can I say? It's time for me to say goodbye. When I think back to about two and a half years ago when I arrived back in England from Hong Kong, a penniless bass player and a hick jock, and then Radio London gave me the chance to come into your homes, which has been the most wonderful thing in the last two years. It's given me the chance to meet Myrtle, get a name of Stewpot. In fact, it's given me a complete life for two whole years as I've been out here on the ship, and I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Well, Paul, you are the only original member of the original crew left here on Radio London, so that means you've done two and two-thirds years. Now, not only have you been there all that time, but a few weeks before Radio London ever went on the air. Have you any sort of memory? Can you take yourself back those times and tell us something about the old days? Uh, well, yes, I can. Of course, it was uh, nothing like as comfortable as it is now. Things have improved progressively as the uh, station has become more successful and we've got things a bit more right on the boat. There was a time when we didn't know how much water we used, let alone how much um, we were going to need next day, you know. Yeah. And uh, that's why I grew the beard, actually, incidentally. It's uh, no water, you see, <laughs> at one stage, so uh, I gave up shaving. I think the other thing that's difficult to imagine now because Radio London's a household word and we've got lots and lots of listeners, but in those days we weren't at all sure if we had any at all. And in the very early days, we'd only been transmitting for a few weeks, I was driving down from Shepherd's Bush in a car and uh, I had to stop rather hurriedly at the lights and a bicycle came screaming up behind me and uh, nearly went into the boot. And a rather angry gentleman on the bicycle just paddled his way around to the driver's side window and said, wonderful radio London. I realised I had a sticker in the back window and I also realised we'd got at least one listener. Hello, this is John Peel, and I've only been with Radio London about five months, but during those five months, I've met some very nice, very kind people, and I've enjoyed myself very much indeed. And in some way, myself and the Perfume Garden will get back to you. Thank you. Some mention has been made of the fact that mine was the first voice to be heard on Radio London. It will also be the last in regrettably few minutes from now. But before that, please allow me to introduce the Managing Director of Radio London, Mr. Philip Birch. During the past three years, I feel that Radio London has done very little harm, but an awful lot of good. During those three years, it's helped organizations such as the Institute for the Blind, Oxfam, the Cancer Fund, the Lifeboat Service, to raise funds for their very worthwhile causes. It saved the life of an airman who bailed out of the, uh, over the North Sea and was picked up by Radio London's tender. In closing, I would like to give my personal thanks to all of the staff at 17 Curzon Street, to all of the DJs, to Captain Bunninger and his crew, to the 1,027 advertisers who have supported Radio London in the last three years, and used Radio London to help sell their products. But most of all, I'd like to thank you, one of the 12 million listeners in the UK and the 4 million listeners in Holland, France, Belgium, Germany, and the other countries on the continent, for all of the support that you have given Radio London during the last three years. Miguel time is three o'clock and Radio London is now closing down.
Super Soul Big L. Stuart here with Myrtle. Hello, Myrtle. Hello, dear. And Paul, well, we've got fun for the next hour, haven't we? Yes, indeed, and we're not alone with Myrtle because we also have... Hi, this is Duncan Johnson. Well, times have really changed since way back in 1964 when I was one of the small group that helped to pioneer commercial radio in Britain. And with the demise of Radio London, an era has ended, one that uh, I hope will start again anew somewhere sometime it's smooth sailing with the highly successful sound of wonderful radio london hello big l listeners kenny everett here big l will always be remembered as the fantastic radio station it is today because it's being chopped off at its prime and anything that happens like that usually is remembered for years and years and years and I think that if people do their bit and keep on remembering Big Al and keep pestering for commercial radio to come back then the same people who are in it now will take over again and we'll get Big L once again only this time on land so it'll be clearer it'll be better in every way so let's keep thinking about Big L and all the tremendous people you've heard on the air like uh, Kenny Everett and Dave Cash I'd like to say thanks to Dave Cash too because the Kenny Cash program was really a gas to do. Hello everybody, this is Dave Cash, a voice you probably haven't heard on Radio London for quite a while. Big L gave the Kenny Cash program the biggest boost that ever happened. <laughs> T.W. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Great to be back on Radio London. Uh, even if it is for this sad occasion. So many memories, so many friends that I've made uh, among the listeners, and so many friends I've made among the crew and the disc jockeys that have worked from time to time from Radio London. And I think my closing thoughts would be how pleased I am that, particularly on Radio London, so many DJs have emerged and uh, you'll be able to hear them in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very thankful for this last opportunity to say goodbye and best wishes to Radio London's vast audience, to the wonderful team of Radio London, to the professional team of Radio London, to the incredulously loyal audience and to all my friends that have heard me when I was at my best and at my worst. I bid you fond farewell, cheers, take care, and God bless. Here's the latest weather word on wonderful Radio London. There'll be fresh, southerly winds. There is an unsettled outlook for tomorrow. Greetings to uh, this is Keith Skews and saying, rather sadly, for the second time around, 
goodbye. It was only some three weeks ago that I said cheerio before I went off on holiday. And now, having returned today and uh, duly been suntanned on both my left and right kneecap, I find that the Marine Offences Bill is about to become law. Well, Keith Skew signing off now, wishing you everything you wish yourselves. Have you ever been? Oh. Have you ever been? You're listening to the final minutes in the life of Radio London and the voices of DJs past and present. Hello everyone, this is Tony Blackburn here. I think this station to me has given everything and everything I now have I owe to Radio London. And it's also been a terrific pleasure working this last year with Radio London because the people connected with it are absolutely marvellous uh, crowd behind the scenes. And it's been so nice working with people who are really enthusiastic and all with the same aim. In other words, to pioneer commercial radio. This is Pete Drummond. I've been with Radio London for 11 and a half months, and I would have liked to have made it a year, but when the Postmaster General says go, well, I suppose one has to go. Truthfully, Radio London has been a unique station where freedom of speech and music has not been denied to the disc jockeys or to the audience. I doubt you'll ever see the like of it again. Thank you anyway for listening to me, and I hope we'll meet again very soon. I love you all. Well, thank you, Dum Dum. Wonderful Radio London.